Hello my soccer universe. I'm doing this now back to back so I won't change jerseys. This is still the Mali jersey that I love so much. Uh, we're gonna look now at another Copa America themed jersey, so another South American jersey from my collection. And we already went through uh, the first one that I had, which is more or less this Brazil jersey. Uh, the second, officially the third one that I had, this Argentina one, then we looked at Peru which was third slash fourth, vice slash fourth, because I got an Argentina away jersey that I had then. Uh, I gave away to make place for another, which was the only time I was ever doing that. But I don't feel too bad about it, because it was just not perfect. It was had actually quite some fabrication errors. And so the next one that we look at, um, I did not get ahead of 2010. It was ahead of the 2014 World Cup. And I gotta say, I knew that when I said when Brazil has a home game, um, I need to get a Brazil jersey. I finally need to update from the old one with only the three stars. I need to update to a, a more modern version, although I really like this one. It's probably still my favorite, but I want to get a more modern with five stars. Uh, and I really, really would have liked the one for 2013, but at the time I decided that, you know, there was a little hole for me for buying soccer jerseys. I mean, now I'm absolutely nuts. Let's get the home jersey for the World Cup. And I know that I got this kind of early in the year. I said, well, if there's one jersey, I should get a Brazil jersey. And so I got this Brazil home jersey, the fabled 2014-15 one. Uh, I think most Brazilians would like to forget about that to be honest. But um, as a Brazil jersey, it's pretty, pretty nice. I remember I ordered actually at the same time the replica version which is this and the player version uh because i really was interested in getting the player version but in the end um the fit was not too flattering to me let's put it that way so as i i we decided together with my wife it's better to get the replica version um and i honestly don't regret it although the venting on the side was very interesting What's interesting with this Brazil jersey is that this was the first time that the crest appeared by itself. There was no Brazil written under, which used to be the feature, but of and, but it was also enlarged. So this made it uh, quite appealing to me. The five stars. I think this is really nice. I think if they would have won a sixth one, uh, it gets a little bit too cluttered. Or you would have to rethink this pattern. I think. Three was nice, four, a little bit, five, I think this is almost the optimum. But of course, if they win six, then we have to make six and you have to rethink how to order them. I was initially not sold on this Y color, but meanwhile, I guess I can, I'm fine with it. I think I really like the classic, overall classic look. I mean, would I prefer a crew neck? Yes, but this is a modern jersey. And so let's have the Y neck. Um, I really like this triangle inset of the canary bird, canarinha. Um, that one looks really nice. Um, sleeve cuffs, there is actually not too much. I mean, here we have the tag, the right fit is on there. It is rather plain, but the crest, really nice, all cloth material, very nicely stitched. Back, I kept empty. And I just realized uh, probably the most interesting thing is that those are raglan sleeves. And I think only Brazil had them for Nike. Given that now Brazil is you uh, Brazil, Nike is using raglan sleeves all over, um, this kind of makes this jersey special. I thought when I when I got this, the nice thing about this is um that you know if you bother about the seams here, it's kind of a little bit of more seamless design. I mean, stupid honestly, but uh, that's what I thought back then. But yeah, it's a nice shirt. However, no nice results in that one. <laughs> um, three things. First of all, this was of course worn in the 7-1 destruction by, at the hands of Germany. So therefore it's a historic shirt. I probably should get the away jersey to complete that. I mean, this is probably one of the most historic matches. Although I turn it off at halftime. I, I cannot watch a game where there's nothing to play for. So I, anymore at 5 0, there was nothing to play for anymore. So I missed three goals. So what? So that's the first one. Um, the second one is that, of course, they also wore it in the Copa America thereafter. Although there was heavily rumored that they will get a New Jersey, they didn't. Uh, didn't do too well as well. Um, they were eliminated by Paraguay. 
in on penalties and yeah it's it is a nice jersey unfortunately will not be remembered very fondly except that it was the home jersey at that particular world cup which i think was a good world cup overall but hey let me know what you think about this jersey give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this jersey and or the video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and i will talk to you soon bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.